All right, all the OGs remember when you had to go to a need or any dungeon to sign up because they didn't have group finder. Oh baby, we're out in front of a need in this beautiful skin. And I got a new desk setup and computer setup yesterday. This is my fourth time recording this video because I'm like, oh, the settings and all that. I just couldn't get it right and didn't think about it when I first recorded the first two. But uh, and then the third one, I thought it was, you know what? We're just going to get into the video, bro. Oh, my God. We're going to get through this pretty quick. Right, here's my armor. Yeah, it's got frost conditioning because, uh, you know, you know, frost stuff. And uh, but no, I, seriously, I do like to have one piece of frost conditioning to help protect you against the storm since, you know, so you don't have to be in sacred. It won't hurt that much. And really only one piece I'll feel like I need female here on the you know gloves because I don't I like damage perks on my weapon I went with freedom over health on the legs because the health is expensive right now and let's get into the hatchet the throwing ability is gonna give you 25% cooldown on throwing and then you got refreshing moves so you basically get instant cooldowns with this I went with vicious because I was using this during Laz and the first boss and last boss on and Laz they don't have backs so rogue is completely useless on them but I would go rogue for the 11% damage over the 7% and then on the spear I'll use this against the ancients vicious abyssal tomb and keenly jagged uh, abyssal because it does extra 15% void damage to ancients uh, I'm gonna have one with nature the arboral attunement for the corrupted eventually but for the corrupted part I usually would put on you know rogue bleeding sweep keen spear I have um, let's see the heart rune I was using this one which I don't like they went up to 50% I get it for the pvp aspect but in pve I hate having 50% ran as this is charging it just makes you very vulnerable to a strong wind gust. It's terrible. Um, I'm gonna go back to rending vines, um, and maybe, maybe, maybe one day I'll get good enough uh, <laughs> where I can use this one consistently. But man, that 50% rend is is no damn joke, dude. When you're taking ice damage and all the other stuff, the void damage, and it's just nightmare. So, anyways, I would go rending vines or hell. I think I'm gonna go beast uh, heart rune just because I laugh my ass off every time I use it. Ambulant, you want frozen protection, health, and empowered. I have refreshing empowered, but you know, if you can get health and empowered, it'd be better. Leeching slash damage hardy. And then I like to have refreshing toast on a piece. Nimble, because that corrupted boss, man, you gotta dodge so much when you're up close. Now I like to have nimble and every sort of stamina regen thing I can have. But purifying toast to get out of being rooted would be nice, but um, that's what I have on there. We'll go over attributes real quick. This is a setup right here. I did make a video the other day about a lot of DPS signing up with 200 con, 300 con, 150 con, all that. Um, man, you, you want to start getting down lower con so you can do higher DPS or else you're going to be in those dungeons forever and you don't want to do that. Now you're going to get knocked a lot and stuff. You're going to have to learn mechanics and eventually, you know, you, you'll have runs where you just get knocked all the time or you'll have runs that you don't and you're just doing great. So don't be ashamed. Everybody gets knocked. Best players out there like Benedict G. I mean, they get knocked. I mean, it happens. No big deal. So learn how to play with the lower con. You want to go 25 intelligence for extra 5% damage to increase backstabs and critical hits or random critical hits. You can uh, 250 dex, but 350 strength for the extra 10% base damage to abilities. And the final attack in the melee light attack chain that's gonna help you out. I know, I think I hit once or twice in, in there with the running throw, 9K damage with that thing, it's nuts. Um, Cause that is an ability. So the torrent goes in more with this also. So that's how you wanna have a spec. And let's get into the weapon mastery. Now, a lot of people are gonna be wondering why I don't have perforate. Well, we have a main spear that does perforate, so it would not stack. Now, cause he goes all the way down the tree. Now, if I just select that, it would stack. For the extra rend but i like cyclone because it does extra damage it's strike uh strike damage so it does extra damage to ancients uh the sweep for any crowd control um you know situations i'm in against ancients or whatnot the initial sweep does strike damage the stab down does thrust damage which is really good against uh corrupted and secure to get the enfeebling secure um going and also the empower going so that's what you want to do select that so you get extra damage for every debuff you put on the enemies let's go to this uh, hatchet you're not going to go with defy death on this you're going to go to this side because it's going to add three percent additional damage to every debuff 
And you're just going to be stacking up uh, debuffs so with the rending throw. And you go Berserk for the extra 20% damage for 12 seconds. Torrent, you don't need those two uh, underneath it. That's basically what you want to go with. Uh, try it out. Let me know what you think about it and how much damage you're doing. And if you like it or not, because the hatchet wasn't used by a lot. I hardly ever see DPS sign up with hatchets. Um, so I think it's going to become more of a thing now. So if you use it and you like it, let me know in the comments. If you got a weapon you want me to use, uh, check, you know, just leave a comment and I'll check you on the next video. Thank you.